Queter is a dangerous secret agent. And so she is out to destroy the Destructo. Uh, she has a super bomb in her satchel that if she can attach to Destructo, she has succeeded in this game of outdoor survival. However, although she is well trained and uses some great personally beneficial rules, rescue we'll say, or maybe pursue, because she's pursuing. Again, if you know what happened to Demi, let me know. Um, she has to roll on the personal chart every turn because she's not able to shower at all. And she's really become accustomed to showering. And that's hard in her. Sometimes through the adversity, good things will happen. Gains, other times stationary, and losses. Let's check in with everyone else. Tinkerbell's made it to this base where she's recuperating so that she can try and uh, hook up with the f field trip here. Um, Flesh and the middle school students, they're at this bountiful mountaintop, uh, kind of recuperating so that they can finish their trek to here where they'll have a good view of the giraffe statue and be able to have some educational opportunities there. Um, Wheater, she uh, set off, kind of had some goods and some bads, mostly bads. Going to get here, try and recuperate in order to go after Destructo. She can't take too long, though, because Destructo could bug out, and she needs to destroy him before he does. Um, on the other hand, if the threat is neutralized, if he's gone, that's not a big deal, but I think she would rather destroy him in order to get the, so that um, the state government scientists could study this huge red body. Unfortunately for Tinkerbell, Destructo has come to this base here. She is destroyed as well as the base. I'll put a marker over the base to show that it is blue. Blue and that it is gone. This base is not here for the rest of the game. And that's intense. So she's going to our pile, and we draw a new person. And it is Snugbug. And we'll have to see what Snugbug's up to here in this outdoor survival map. Snugbug is most proud of being master of his lodge. So we're going to roll to see which lodge is his lodge. And he's going to need to keep that lodge safe and he needs to be there at the end of the game. So, nine. His lodge is right here, so we'll mark that with one of these. Um, we'll make it a yellow one. We'll put that there. And Snugmug needs to get there and be master of his lodge at the end of the game. Destructo, meanwhile, is trying to get it so that he can end his movement on this space here and destroy the body. If he does that, and then gets back to where he started from. All sources of alien stuff have been removed. All physical evidence would will be a, will have been removed from the map, and that is his victory condition. He needs to destroy things. He needs to destroy them hard. Weeder's need for showers kept her here for a while. Um, Destructo just successfully found the body and destroyed it and Steinberg's moving his way down. The middle school students are doing well, they're in good health, and they're about ready to move on to try and get to, this point seems like the best vantage point to, to sit for a day and talk about the giraffe statue, at which point they have to return back to here, which incidentally is Snugbug's Lodge, and make their way on the bus and back to middle school. Destructo's victory conditions have changed. He's moved within six hexes of the ghost spot. So he must reach this spot before he can complete his task. Or else he has not survived.
Weeder's need of several showers has been damaging. She's now down to here on the in the water index. Once you're here, you're in big trouble because you don't have a lot of leeway before you start losing a lot of life levels. It's going to be hard for her to catch up to Destructo now, but she can still do it. Uh, she's going to have to sit here for another turn, but the next turn she can most likely make it to this base and hopefully recover some in order to press down this way and catch him before he gets to his final destructo point. Wheater's in, in a rough place. She has to stay here for another turn. Luckily for her, she has the thing where she always rolls an event. And this place is lucky because in the pursue track, she could very well gain a personal event. Um, she always has to roll a personal event, so if she gets a one. If she rolls a two, she should be able to make it. Otherwise, I think Wheater is lost. And as the middle school students spend days gazing across the desert at the giraffe statue, Wheater is about to make that fateful roll right now. So let's see. She rolls a one or a two. She rolled a five. That is. Lose one step water, so she's going to lose a total of 11 steps water. One, two, three, four, five. I know she's at H. One, two, yeah, she's gone. Goodbye, Wheater. You never got to set off your bomb. That's sad. All right, we're down to just a few left in this extended game of outdoor survival. Let's see what we have here, or who we have here. And that is, no, that's Flips. Flips is going into our green slot here, and we'll see what she has to offer. Flips is a really great friend, and there's no postal service in the outdoor survival world. And so she's delivering a package which consists of Castle of Magic, which doesn't have another game inside. It's just Castle of Magic which looks like a really great game that's going to make someone really happy. Um, it comes with this. And this cool board here. And also, not just Castle of Magic, but she's also delivering in the same box, actually, Freedom in the Galaxy. Um, which is kind of like, I think, Star Wars, except not licensed, which is just fine with me. But not only that, in the box of Freedom in the Galaxy is The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, which is a fun game that involves poetry, from what I understand. She has to deliver that across the board um, for a friend of hers, because she's just considerate in that way, and someone indicated that that's what they wanted that's what would make them happy, and she felt it was incumbent upon herself to help make them happy by making this delivery. Thank you, Flips. Flips is starting off here. I uh, Midway through the game, I kind of designated each base, except when it seemed like they should roll randomly to determine where they started uh, with a different position. So Flips is here. Destructo would naturally start here. Snugbug would naturally start here and Flush would naturally start here. Um, so she started out here, she moved one, two, three, four, five, six, because she's using survivor rules, had to go one direction. She's joining up with the middle school troop. She's gonna help out there. And hopefully, since they happen to be going back the way she's heading, she'll be, be able to deliver her package and thus be successful. So we're gonna go ahead and draw someone else to play, to take her place. Um, and that's gonna be Sunny. Sunny will go here, and I have no idea what Sunny's up to in the outdoor survival wilderness. So, Sunny's a retired police officer, but his secret fantasy is to do some parachute jumping. So he did some parachute jumping somewhere in the wilderness, and he has to get his he has to make his way out afterwards. So we're gonna roll to see where he ends up. He got two, so he's gonna be here. We'll see how many hexes away from the two spot. Um, in what direction he lands. And he's just gotta make it out. And he's using Lost Rules 5. 
So he's five hexes away in what direction? The four direction. So four direction here. One, two, three, four, five. Sonny is right here. He's using lost rules right next to the space, which is pretty handy. Wait, why is there that H there? That was, oh, yeah, that was, yep. All right, so he's here, and he has to make it out, and he's got to make it out this way using lost rules. So it's kind of like a pretty standard lost scenario. Normally, lost starts here, and it has to make it out one side. It's, it only specifies which way he has to go, uh, except Sonny also has a gun, so if there's ever any problem, he can use having a gun rules. Let's roll for Destructo now since we're filming. Destructo's kind of in a sa similar situation as he was in finding the body in that he has these random rolls and has to get exact amounts, but he needs to move towards this uh, enchanting flute, which is drawing him near. Six. Put some one this way. One, two, three. Eh, I guess that's where he's gonna go. Destructo is pretty direct. Let's go back to Snugbug here. Snugbug's getting close to his lodge, doing pretty well. Roll three. He's using search rules. He can change directions. One, two, three, four, five. So he's right outside. Let's see if he gets any events here. He does not, but he does lose food. He's got a lot of events. He's had a lot of events that made him lose food and water. Back to Flush. Flush with his new friend Flips and, and the middle schoolers, they are back to as good a health as they can get. So they're at B now. It's interesting, the middle schoolers having to, you know, they've caused a lot of problems with their random events, but they've also, you know, partially because of Flush's tutelage, which lets them use the rescue rules and the rescue tables, have gained resources back. So I wouldn't say it's been an exact perfect trade-off. I think it's been more negative than positive, but it hasn't been as bad as it would be if there weren't these like uh, gain areas on the table. Let's check back in. Um, Destructo's still, still been wandering around. He keeps hearing the flute, really wants to find the source of that beautiful music. Um, Flush and Flips, they, had, due to middle school error, had to stay here for a while. Um, they have to, but then the middle schoolers also found water for them, so that kept them from being in too big of trouble. Sonny, he got lost, ended up over here. Um, he was at this base recuperating, but then when he set off again, he ended up going through the mountains instead of the flatlands, which seems like it should be obvious, but parachute jumping really does a number on your um, adrenaline, which affects the way you think. Snugbug, he's made it to his his lodge, and he's just been kind of hanging out there, recuperating, and just waiting for the game to end, essentially. The middle schooler's discovery of water has really helped flush and flips. If the middle schooler hadn't done that, they would have lost more life levels and maybe not been able to penetrate this water space here. Rivers cost more movement, but as such, they were able to, and they are now recuperating here in the safety of the space. I'm still having the middle schoolers roll for wilderness encounters because wilder, uh, because middle schoolers do all sorts of crap that you won't expect even if you're safe and surrounded by danger. Um, snug Bug is still snug in his lodge, doing well, recovering. He actually should be at A now. I don't think I've been updating that. And Sonny, he's still wandering lost. He's in trouble. He's getting lower and lower. He really needs to get back here where Flush's middle schoolers are and rest. Destructo found the dead body of Dancing Bear, and that is going to allow her to pass on to careers. She did her lifetime goal, playing a flute on a mountain. Someone learned about it. Interesting that that someone was an alien. Um, I established this rule a while ago, kind of secretively, that if someone was within six hexes away, they would be drawn by her music and have to go and 
trying to find out. She was lucky it was Destructo, because Destructo isn't subject to the environment like every other player in the game is. So now all Destructo has to do is get down here, and since there's no one trying to destroy him anymore, since Weeder is gone, he should be okay. Um, but again, he has to get exactly to this space, which is going to be a problem for him. Our middle school students have rolled lots of twos and threes for the ubiqu their ubiqu ubiquitous events, which means they have to roll in the animal insect uh, column. Now, the animal insect column is oftentimes negative. Let's look at the lost thing and also the pursue. So there's no positives there in most of the tables. But thanks to Flush's guidance, there's lots of gains, and they've gained, a, they've rolled uh, a lot of low numbers, which help them out. A lot of food, actually, which makes sense because middle schoolers are growing, and so food is going to be important to them. And so they're able to hoard food, steal food, get food for their own purposes. And that's, that's helped them to survive, even though they have to keep rolling events while on a base, which our other players have not had to do. Um, so great. Bully for them. More bully for Destructo, who has made it here through the luck of the roll and through the luck of the card draw. There hasn't been someone else out to destroy him, out to destroy the destroyer. So he is passing on to careers, and we're going to draw another person here. And we'll just draw whoever we can't see. And that's DJ Double J, full of effect. Yeah! We are in a place of relative calm. Um, the whole alien thing seems to have been laid to rest, thanks to Destructo and numerous others, some who have uh, succeeded and others who have passed on. Thanks to their efforts, we have been able to put that whole chapter, that whole an outdoor survival ish chapter to rest. Um, it really externalized the whole outdoor survival and made it this whole other conflict that didn't have to do with nature, uh, which was embodied in the fact that Destructo didn't have to worry about survival at all. He just had to move and destroy. Um, so that's gone. We're kind of starting back afresh in a sense. Uh, and everyone's kind of in a comfortable place. So our middle schoolers, they're making do with their puberty. They're doing well, considering the fact that they're going through puberty and they're in this potentially stressful position, even though they have the strong leadership of Flesh and the support of Flips, who, and kindness of Flips, who's joined their group. Um, Sonny, he made it to a base. He can recuperate and then try and make his way out to freedom so that he can maybe parachute again. Who knows? Who knows what's in it for him left. He's retired. He's got his whole life in front of him. And Snugbug, he has his lodge. All he has to do is make sure that no one messes with it because it's his. And he's the ruler of the lodge. So whoever passes through there must obey him and acquiesce to his demands. We'll see that they do. Next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament, English slash Pasha dash Rue Leg 1, Outdoor Survival.